Hello and welcome to Art Class with Mr. Rogers. This week we're talking about Esther Malangu, Dr. Esther Mahalangu, a master painter and a living legend in the art world. Well, let's start with where she's from. She is from the country of South Africa, and it's here on this map of the continent of Africa. Maybe you can find it here on the map. I'll give you a minute to check it out. And of course, you can pause the video if you want. Did you find it? I hope so. It's down south. And while we might think of South Africa as being at the bottom of the map, it's definitely top quality for art and culture. So she was born in 1935 in this town in red called Middleburg, Mumpalanga. I hope I'm saying that right. And she grew up during tough times. But she found that she loved painting at a young age, the age of 10. And since then, she has not stopped painting. She uses patterns and uh, shapes from traditional clothes and jewelry, and she makes these huge paintings. This is part of a tradition that was passed down to her by her mother and her grandmother. You can see some of those uh, traditional clothes and jewelry that she's wearing right there in this picture. Really cool stuff. So like I said, her mother and her grandmother taught her how to paint, and the tradition was passed down between women and girls in her culture. It was normal for them to paint their houses, and their culture was called, and is called, the Ndebele culture. Uh, it's a little hard for me to say, so if I mess up sometimes, please forgive me. Uh, but yeah, here's a picture of their traditional clothes and houses. Uh, pretty cool stuff. You see the men and women wear slightly different outfits, but art is very important in their culture. Look at all the work that went into those beads. Here's some close-ups of that clothing and jewelry. patterns and colors. So in 1989, Dr. Esther Mahlangu became the first woman to design a BMW art car. And she used those traditional patterns. She added colors that were all of her own choosing. I think that's pretty cool. And the way she adapted those patterns to fit the shape of the car that she was painting. And she didn't stop there. She painted on other things too. She also concentrated a lot of her time on beadwork. And here's a close-up of it. That's stringing together loads and loads of beads to make special designs. It takes a lot of work and a lot of patience. Whew, I can't imagine. So as time went on, uh, Dr. Mahlangu also used her work to benefit others, providing medical aid in Africa. And she earned her honorary PhD from the University of Johannesburg in 2018. Since then, you've been able to see her work on lots of places. Uh, maybe you've seen it on an airplane or in a public art space. Pretty cool. If you want to go see one of her paintings, in real life, you can go visit the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts. What would you like to see her style of painting put on? And nowadays, uh, Dr. Mahlangu has said she's not going to retire. So she's still teaching at her school, pictured here, and passing on the tradition to girls in her culture. Well, I hope you liked learning a little bit about Dr. Esther Mahlangu, and I hope you'll stick around and answer some of the questions in the activity below. Bye for now.